What's up, good people? Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've been kind of nervous making this video because I know some people are not gonna be happy. <laughs> I know that some people are are going to hear this car and they're going to feel like they're going to feel like they've been betrayed. They're going to feel like uh my I've turned my back on uh on a certain group of people. And I haven't. I haven't. And let me tell you why. If you've been following my channel from the get green, from the beginning, you know that I I and I've I've stated this many times and one day I'm going to make a video and list them all out and maybe find pictures. I, I know I got a lot of pictures. There's probably some pictures I don't have. Anyway, a lot of my good friends here know that I have owned many cars somewhere in the neighborhood of mid 40s, like 44, 45 cars in my adult life. Um, I've owned them all. I've been all over the place. This channel's a muscle channel. We started with the 96 Impala. I got mad love for the 96 Impala because to me, that is my Eleanor. The 96 Impala is basically like, it was a bucket list car that I have wanted since I was 15 or 16, yeah, somewhere around there. Um, and I got the opportunity to own it. I got the opportunity to own the best version that I could possibly own of it. Anyway, sold the 96 Impala because what I do. I buy cars. I do stuff to them. If there's nothing else to do to them, if I have no desire to do anything to a car, then I kind of just want to sell it so that someone else can appreciate it and I go find something else to want to do stuff to. It's the journey, the process of doing stuff to cars to make them better, to enhance them. Um, and there was nothing left to enhance on that car, in, in my opinion. In my opinion. I'm not going to get around, beat around the bush here. I'm going to go ahead and be straight up with you. The next car for the Taj and Cars channel is a 2018 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack 392. Let's take a look. As we look at this car, we're gonna notice a couple things. Um, I have already done my first custom. 
uh, mod to the car. I apologize, guys. I picked the car up. Like I said, it's a 2018. I picked the car up, um, and immediately I was not happy with the ride height. It just set for it to be a, a two-door, uh, you know, pony car, uh, you know, if you will. It, it just set too high, and I immediately like it didn't even get to 400 miles before I immediately took it and had um, some iBox springs installed on the car. So that's why it sits lower. Let's go to the video real quick showing what the car looked like before, like right as I, like the day after I picked it up, before I got the uh, suspension put on it. All right, here's another shot of it pre drop just to give you an idea of what it looked like. Technically, I've driven it like. 70 miles uh, it's got 400 miles on the car I actually uh, the dealer had to transfer it up from a dealer in Vegas so uh, they drove it up um, so that I could save a few bucks not have it shipped up that was me being cheap I didn't really care it's like 300 miles and drive it up so whatever but again here's the car pre dropped so you at least know what it looked like before the reveal. Man, I love this color. All right, so I wanna give her the keys and we'll go back to the regular, regularly scheduled video. So I had a couple criteria factors. One was I wanted to keep it under 40 or, or at 40, no, no higher than 40, um, which turned out to be really hard to kind of pull off. But that's another story. That's we'll, we'll, we'll save that for the end of the video. Um, another criteria factor was it needed to be somewhat practical, meaning I couldn't get a Corvette because that's that's not practical. I got kids, I'm married. Like I, I, I need something a little more practical than a Corvette. Um, so and and, and I, I'm not singling out the Corvette. I'm just bringing that up as an example of like it needed to be somewhat practical. I needed to be able to like you know put something in it besides me and another body. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, and then obviously, need to be, you need to be American, need to be muscle, need to have horsepower. Um, those were like really my, my, my main uh, factors. And then I had some color uh, criteria. I wanted to kind of keep it like a color that was like similar to, or, or color that like complemented my shop colors. Um, so that would pretty much be like black, white, and gray. And since I love myself, I didn't want to get black because I own a detail shop. I am a detailer. I employ detailers. And uh, if anybody uh, who's a detailer would tell you, a black car is like the abyss of chasing demons, is what we call it. Chasing demons. Always finding little imperfections to try to perfect in a car. So I didn't want to have a black car um, just because, yeah, I've been down that road. Now, if you signed up for the channel, because of the Impala, don't go. Stay on the channel, okay? Please stay on the channel. Give the channel a chance. I'm still an Impala guy. Uh, I'm going to try to go to the uh, to the Nationals next year, 2018. Um, just hang out, vlog there. Um, you know, there's a lot of really, really cool uh, B-body Impalas there and, and Caprices and wagons there. Uh, so that's in the plans for me for next year for 2018 as well as hitting a couple cars and coffees in other states Like I want to go to Houston. I want to go to Dallas cars and coffee uh, Maybe Miami cars and coffee. So hang around the channel because I'm still an Impala guy and most importantly I'm an American muscle guy um, Got a couple other cool ideas. I'm gonna be working out on the channel right now though the Taj and cars car is a 2018 Scat Pack Challenger 392 Anyway, any comments, you wanna hate me, you wanna love me, you wanna hang around, you wanna leave, please comment in the box below, let me know. Uh, if you wanna leave the channel, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Maybe that'll work for somebody, I don't know. But comment in the box below, please subscribe, please share. This has been Taj and Cars, and I'm out. <laughs>